Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Talking Points with Preferred Health Magazine. I'm your host, Angelina Cappiello. Today, we'll be talking to Shai Rusheff, the founder of the University of the People, an online higher education program that is affordable and accessible to all. We will be talking about AI in the classroom and how that is helping to enhance education as a whole by tailoring instruction for individual students. Let's listen in. Here to speak about AI in the classroom is Shai Rashef. He's the founder of the University of the People, whose mission is to make higher education affordable and accessible to all. Hi, Shai Rashef. How are you? I'm very good, and thank you for uh, inviting me. Thanks for coming on today. Let's talk about the University of the People, sure. what your mission is, and how that has evolved. Good. So University of the People is the first nonprofit tuition-free accredited American online university that was open in order to let anyone who deserve higher education and qualified to do so. And today there are millions of people around the world who simply cannot attend higher education, either because it's too expensive. We know the situation in the US, either because they live in countries where there aren't enough universities, Maybe they are deprived for political reasons. Refugees are a good example. Or for gender, cultural, or, or religious re- reasons. And women in Afghanistan is the best example. So for all these people, we use the internet in order to offer them a job. So we are tuition free, which means that they pay a minimum amount to take the course if they have the money. We also have a scholarship for those who cannot afford even our $160 per course that we charge the student. And we started in 2009. By now we have 170,000 students coming from 213 countries. Among them, uh, almost 35,000 are refugees and uh, IDPs, internally displaced people. We have people from all over the world. They are coming from over 200 countries. Congratulations. It's wonderful. Thank you. And these are people who had no other alternative if it wasn't for us. And our mission is to make sure that all of them has the opportunity and we use the the technology in order to bring the education to them. Uh, I would just say, I I mentioned that um, we are, um, that, you know, we, we offer scholarship for those who cannot afford a, a, our minimal payment as much as we can. And we are very happy to say that uh, we just uh, got uh, $800,000 from Coca-Cola oh for scholarships for, for uh, first generation students, which we are extremely thrilled with, we thrilled with because, you know, first generation students are the very students we want to help. So. That's wonderful. But more than anything else, we want to show that higher education can be accessible and affordable with the right quality. And we are accredited by WASC, which is one of the best uh, accreditation agencies. And we want to show others, please, there are so many people. We do it. You can do it as well. Let's open the gates to high of higher education to everyone because that's the future of the world. Educated people are the people who will contribute to society rather than being burden on this society. You know, we're talking today about AI in the classroom. And of course, AI, you know, people are a little wary about this, especially teachers, especially parents, worried that their children are using it as a cheat sheet. You know, a lot of the teachers are maybe feeling like, oh, you know, they're afraid AI is going to replace them. But obviously AI is controlled by a human counterpart. So I don't think that's possible, right? I mean, what do you think? I don't think that AI will replace the teachers. It will enable the teachers to be much better teachers and it will enable the students to to study much better. And I'll give uh, give two aspects for it. First of all, you know, all professors spending so much time right now answering questions which I wouldn't call them stupid questions, but I would call them questions that you don't need a professor to answer. AI can answer all these questions. So AI can free the professors to do what they should and can do best, give personalized attention to the the students. So the AI stands right next to the professor, help them with the day-to-day work, and leave the professor to do do the person to the students, to help the students do progress. I think that um, for professors, it's a great news. It's great news. It's not actually 
uh, will make them obsolete to the, to the contrary. And it's a great news for the students as well, because students now are able to study at their own pace and the way that they like to study. Because when you think about traditional class, you have a professor standing in front of 20, 30, I don't know how many students, and lecture. Some students don't get what the professor say because he's running too fast. For others, it's too slow. Some students like by asking questions again and again. Some students like to read the material and read it again and again. Some students study by discussing. All these options are available with AI. So it can be personalized way of studying. You study the way that you study best. So it will help the students study better and it will help the professors at the same That's a time. great way of thinking about it because you're right. Everyone has a particular way that they prefer to study and, and learn. We're all different. So our learning capabilities are all different. And I love that you said that because I remember being in college or being in high school and I am more visual. I am more hands-on. I do like to ask a lot of questions. So yeah. And meanwhile, there I have friends who are just, you know, read a book and they knew and they were done. And <laughs> they were just exactly, yeah, yeah. So everyone's exactly. way of learning is different. How does AI though cater to somebody, let's say, with a learning disability? Well, when you it, it depends on what kind of, of a disability, but reading the material to the students, AI can do it. Read the entire the entire material. Uh, go slower. Help them with the way that they, you know, you, you mentioned it. You like to watch videos. Some people, you know, have a hard time understanding what, you know, what they hear. They would much rather sit in front of them. AI can fix it or help them with it. So AI can actually tailor um, the study process for students and students with disability will be the first one to enjoy from it. I want to touch the point that you mentioned earlier about students cheating. Think, oh, AI, students are not going to study anymore. They're only going to cheat. I think that the opposite is true. First of all, for all those that are against AI, let's put it simple. The AI is here to stay. Whether you like it or you hate it, AI is here to stay. And therefore, think about how to use AI. And the usage of AI should be different than, than what we were used up to now. Because... Students will go to AI to ask for the answers. You can't expect the students not to do it. You can tell them as much as you want, don't do it, they will do it. I tell them, ask the, ask the answer, ask the AI to answer the question, but then analyze the answer that the AI gave you. Uh, look for the sources of the answer that the AI used. So actually use the AI as part of your studies, learn with the AI, understand what the AI tells you. And that's a really great way. It will save time. I think we're so, doing it now, right? I mean, I feel like this is kind of the norm. You're right. AI is here. It's here to stay. Children, I mean, and teenagers, there was a study done. They, they're they getting their news sources from AI. They're not going, picking up a newspaper or, you know, they're not doing that. They're on their computers. So, so, so really need to see where they're at and meet them where they're at. So teach them how to be critical about what the AI tell them. Tell them, listen, it doesn't mean that it's true. AI make mistakes also. Sure, and it depends so on who's putting that information in, exactly. Exactly, analyze. Develop your critical thinking when you use the AI. And by the way, I would touch only a, a side point, which is very important. AI will change the way that, that we teach and the material that we teach, because look at computer science. Mm -hmm. We taught our students for years, since the computers are there, how to program. Okay. So computer scientists were were people, students who knew how to program. Not anymore, because the AI program. Oh. You should, we teach them how to use the AI to program for them. So it's, you know, the AI is a different world, but it's a great world. There are risks there. Obviously, there are risks there, but, you know, okay. I think that the AI reminds me in a way Wikipedia. When okay. Wikipedia came, people say, oh, God, people will stop studying. They will just go to Wikipedia. Well, Wikipedia is still here and, and people think about it as a good thing. Well, I guess that the same would happen with AI. I mean, should we be going to a university or should we just be staying home and learning online? Well, I think we should go to university. Okay. Okay. And, and, <laughs> 
I believe I believe that um, look, university should give knowledge. you, but it's way beyond the knowledge. It gives you critical thinking. It makes you a well-rounded individual. It gives you the discipline to study. So you don't want to sit at home, both for social reason, reasons, even when you are online, when you study with the, with the University of the People, uh, we put you in a class with 20 to 30 other students, which the entire pedagogy is, is interacting with them. Online, obviously, but it's interacting with other students. And I think that interaction with other, with other people is very important to everyone because otherwise, you know, it's part of being society. <laughs> we all, exactly. If each one of us will stay at home and never leave home and study, or attend. but more, moreover, we don't want the students only to study what they need in order to work. They do need to learn the professions that they are going to have, but they need to be beyond that because we want to prepare them for the world. We want, you know, we want our students when they go and work in any profession and let's say because of AI or because of anything else that happened in the world, their profession become obsolete. No need for what they studied anymore. And it might happen because we don't know how the world is going to develop. We want to give them the tools to study by themselves later on. And that's the power of education, giving you a tool to study by yourself, to be educated person, to have critical thinking and, and really be there a, a well-rounded individual to, to deal with every, every case. So I think that, that education is a great thing. You know, I'm not sure that everyone can go to a four year to college. Maybe they should go for less years in college and study par partially online or maybe study fully online. Right. But I would highly recommend the people not to lose uh, higher education, education in general and higher education in particular because the cost might be too high. I think, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a great tool and it's great that you're helping in this regard. Um, now, what about... Kind of looking ahead, like what what is your biggest hope for the role of AI in education or in institutions um, like yours in shaping you know the future of our education? Look, <laughs> I read an article when someone said because of AI, all universities will have one person, the president. So my job is secured. So I'm okay. <laughs> But I don't think it is it is uh, it is it is true and it is right. I think that uh, I believe that AI should help us in everything that we do. Help us recruit better students. Think about it. A lot of students start they study the wrong field, something that either is not suit to them or they are not good at. AI can help us recruit the right students. AI can help us retain the students. If they have difficulties, identifying what difficulties the students have and get involved at the right time. Help the students find a better job. The students themselves, it can help them study better, either because of the a personalized learning that AI can offer them, as we said, tailor the way they study to the way they study best, and help the professors both writing the courses. Right. And that's what we do. We use AI to write the courses. The professors are looking at what AI produced and like we expect the students, see it's right, it's not right. Is it that, does it do a good job? So it can improve the quality of the course, improve the retention of the students. Well, recruit better students, improve retention and finding them a job. I think that that's what we are trying. Well, we are, we are implementing it and we believe that it will make us a better university with more students, better served, better educated. And we are pushing as hard as we can. And I hope that every university will do the same because if you don't do it, you're just lagging behind. Eventually you will be forced to do it. So. Yeah. You're right, yeah. you're right. I mean, this is where it's at. And what I, what I do love about AI is that in a sense, especially when it comes to education, it's kind of like, higher education, but the best kind, because it is tailored to your type of learning. It is teaching you directly how you like to learn. And it's almost like creating a, a superhuman, like a, a super educated human, because we're not, yes. we're not getting lost in, in the crowd. There's no one to get lost in the crowd. It's going to cater to each student. 
And that's I, how it should be. I agree with you. Yeah. That's incredible. I, so I think yeah. it is to, we should appreciate it and watch the way it does. Make sure that it doesn't make mistakes. Make sure that it teaches the right, the right content to the right students. So there are things to watch. That's why we need human beings. That's why I say yeah. it's not, I'm not going to be alone. You need all the people that are there to make sure that the AI is doing a good job, but it can do an amazing job and let's let it do so. So yeah. yeah. In the right hands. And you're one of those people. It's in the right hands with you. I feel that. And you're helping so many. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on and speaking with me about AI, the University of the People. Where can we find more information about your university? So thank you for, for asking. Um, one thing to make clear is that we only teach business administration, computer science and health science, bachelor okay. level, master in education in IT and MBA. So if you want to study something else, we are not for you. Okay. But if you want to study that, feel free. Just go okay. online, uopeople.edu, University of the People. Um, so you are people for University of the People. We are online. Everything is online. We have a team of people to help you and some bots or bots to help you as well. Okay. <laughs> great, great. This is where we're at. Thank you so much. It was so good meeting you. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much for uh, this interview. It was great. Thanks. For more information on the University of the People, visit www.uopeople.edu. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more inspiring, incredible interviews on Talking Points with Preferred Health Magazine.